standing by i'm sure there's some food involved in this so this is what people can do over the weekend just stay hunkered down in your house right mm -hmm. and eat well uh eat and also we are actually kind of taking a little bit more of a, a serious side today believe it or not with uh you know the, the impending weather this weekend so and food on the show but it's right. it's food that you may want to have around that you may weekend. need mm -hmm. right and things but. that you and also you know the things that you need to be prepared with because today's not the day to go out and try and get everything together although you know the rain hasn't hit here in town yet so and of course uh just an emphasis you know we're all going to be here over the weekend to uh, keep you updated on everything Absolutely. going on so yes. all right you guys take a break there we will take it from here and uh, you know we were talking about how you need to be prepared and what to do and and how to keep entertain if you're kind of hunkered down inside oh this yeah weekend. especially if you've got kids you know right. so you want to keep them entertained while the storm kind of rolls through so we want to help you gear up for this weekend storm that's why we've brought in the red cross today yes indeed henry van Apute, who is the executive director of the american red cross for greater san antonio and the emergency kit something that everybody really should have in the closet somewhere, maybe yes. in their trunk. Yes, anywhere you might be when emergency hits where you should have this. So this is actually a sample of things that I have in my own personal kit. Mm -hmm. I always carry, one of the things people may not know is you need about two gallons of water per person in your family per day. And so we like to say that, that at least for a weekend, you've got that. So this, this is the drinking water I carry around. So is that just for consumable water? Right. This is just so you can consume water and have it. Okay. Uh, there are ways that if you know, like right now, we know there's an impending uh, uh, kind of a storm headed our way. Right. There are ways to store up water already in your, in your house. So you can fill up large vessels. You can fill up the bathtub. You can do things like that. I don't think we're at that point yet, but that's somewhere we need to start thinking about. Okay. And really importantly in, your, in our kit, we say is always be prepared for what you may not be prepared. So for me, the most important thing is my alternate power source for my phone. That literally is your flashlight. It could be your radio. It could be your internet. It's also your phone. Mm -hmm. And so having an additional one, this is kind of a... You know, it's funny because it's always been batteries, batteries, batteries. Well, and, and having a portable radio there so you can stay tuned. But nowadays, yeah. you know, again, the phone is your lifeline. Is. Everything. And you yeah. lose power. You don't just take a AAA battery no. and power this thing. So those power packs, you can get at the grocery store, at the drugstore, and they're get them not, everywhere. They're not that yep. expensive. You get yeah. them everywhere, and they sell them, and they're, they really are lifesavers, especially if that is your lifeline. Mm -hmm. You need to keep that charged. Okay. okay. Now, as far as a pack, mm -hmm. can you buy them pre-assembled? You can. You can buy a, an emergency pack from the Red Cross store online. Oh, you uh, can. You, they'll ship them to you. Uh, you can do that, and that way it gives you kind of the bare essentials. It gives you some um, batteries. It'll give you a power source. It'll give you a flashlight. It'll also come with our pocket uh, first aid kit. Uh, but little things, and more importantly, it'll come with just preparedness tips as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where can folks go if they need help this weekend? So if they need help, uh, there's two kinds of help. One is preparedness. Mm -hmm. I would say download our app. Our app would be the best way that we can help in a preparedness mode. It literally has information on every kind of uh, disaster we could have from hurricane to flooding to fires, uh, any kind of thing. You can actually go in there. It'll tell you how to be prepared beginning, uh, beginning, during, and after. It'll it, literally give you advice on how to do that. You have got so many wonderful things on here. And also, you said you can um, kind of place where your yes. loved ones are on your phone. So we've got a yeah. shot right there. I don't know. It's, it's a little difficult to do, but yeah. we want to keep that close what, up there. What's great from here is you can actually come in here. And we're in the preparedness link here. Uh -huh. uh, but if you come right over here, you can go to notifications. And you'll notice I've got some different places like San Antonio, Laredo, New Braunfels. Mm -hmm. And you can add loved ones from your contacts. You'll see, sorry, Mom, Dad, and, and Rena. We can get your <laughs> phone numbers there. But uh, right there, you can add the loved ones who are right then and there. And that way, when something happens uh, in those locations, you can quickly get to the loved ones in those areas. You don't have to get out of the app. All that information is stored right or in there. Or you can notify them if you're in the area being right. hit and go, I'm okay. Yes. Don't worry about me. Absolutely. Right. That's what's, It's got maps uh, on where things are. You mm -hmm. can diff change the overlay to uh, rain, cloud, uh, hurricane tracker, all of that stuff right located in that app. And you have some new information for folks. Yes. But... Uh, we have some new information. Um, San Antonio has a great history of being hospitable. We're hospitable people. You guys know this on this show. That's what we like doing. Uh, so the Red Cross is actually putting an all call for volunteers to help our neighbors from the coast that may be here. Uh, so starting tomorrow at our location, 3642 East Houston, uh, we're having a volunteer intake center from 8 to 2 p.m. It's a one-stop shop. You can come, get processed, and more importantly, get the training and deployed immediately.
Okay, and somebody goes there, what should they bring? Just maybe some rain gear? And I would say bring prepared, closed toed shoes, right. and okay. an attitude and a willingness to help. <laughs> okay. Smile. All right, for Henry, more information on the Red Cross for Greater San Antonio, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, we want to give a, a, get you a quick check on the radar right now, just see what's going on. Of course, Katie was updating us all during the uh, noon show, and now, as you can see, it is still a Category 2 storm, 110 mile per hour sustained winds, gusts up to 130 and we've been pointing out all morning long that this thing has just such a well-defined eye it is almost perfectly circular it is so symmetric and some of those heavier rain bands are now moving into almost gonzalez we're getting them now some rain into uh wilson county a little bit even a few showers that are further out to the west in portions of the hill country so definitely the rain is heading here and it will be on the heavier side at times and of course uh, you know, we're going to be keeping you updated. Adam's going to be here later on this afternoon. And, of course, all weekend long, we are going to be there 24-7, keeping you updated on what's going on with Hurricane. What's the name again? Harvey. 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 I almost forgot. <laughs> Harvey. I've said it 8 million times this Harvey. morning. Harvey. So. Yeah, well, there are going to be a ton of families stuck inside this weekend. So we gave our resident mama bear, Jen Tobias Strusky, <laughs> the task of finding her favorite kind of top three things to kind of keep the kids yes. busy. That's This is what we do in my house. So you guys are actually going to stay busy and get our project started that we're doing this weekend. And it's keeping you busy as well. Yes, of so. course, because like, mom, you have to sit and do it with us. But, yeah. I mean, some things that maybe you've been, oh, I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Now's the time to do Now's it, right? Now's the time to do it. Okay. So that's where we'll get started with our first topic, if you will. I kind of bundled everything into uh, what you have that you haven't got around to, like you said, Mike. Okay. So uh, painting. So I brought in, this is one pot that's been sitting outside. It's going to rain. Brought it in. We have patio paint, which is our favorite. Keeps the kids really busy. So yeah, go ahead, Fiona. You, you get, can, that, yeah. get that stuff at Michael's or Michael's like Hobby Lobby. And I stumbled across it, and it's just great. I put newspaper down. Julia, Rai Rai, my kiddos, they go to work on it, and it will keep them busy. They can get do whatever designs they want, and it's just fun. So that's one thing we're going to do this weekend. So Fiona's getting that started. Okay, so this was in my closet. It's a uh -huh. cute little turtle rock pet. I think I got it back in the spring at Target, and it's just been sitting there. So I'm pulling these out this weekend. Uh -huh. I have two. Uh, but you have rocks lying around outside. Go mm -hmm. grab them now and let the kids have uh, pet rocks. I just think that's the cutest thing. And their imaginations will go. Come on, Mike, you got it. There we go. So, yeah, their imaginations will go. Uh, Julia loves this. And again, let them paint and get dirty. It'll keep them busy. Okay, okay so. This frame, I've been wanting to redo, if you will, and we have our shells from our South it, Padre This is trip. from last year. It's from last year. So you year. want to redo it from a picture from yes, this year with a little mermaid. Vacation this summer. Okay. So, Mike, why don't you hot glue some of these shells, get our project started. Um, another frame that I have not even uh, put a picture in. So all of this I will be doing this weekend. If you have cute little embellishments that you have lying around. You know, and the nice thing about a hot glue gun, like this one, it's not a huge thing, and you can get them at the craft store. You don't have to go to, you know, Home or Depot Walmart, or, or, Lowe's, yeah. or Walmart. Yeah. Whatever's and if the close. power goes out. Oh, yes. Thanks, Fiona. <laughs> not a problem. Goop or the, which one did you say, Mike? The E6000. E that one's yeah, great, All of our too. craft experts. So, uh, so moving along, I'll let Mike do that. But, Fiona, this is one thing that... Julia's Uncle Michael, if you're watching, Uncle Michael, you will know what I'm talking about. He'll come over and he'll bring these little, it's- Oh, these are so fun. so simple. And I didn't fill this one up all mm -hmm. the way, but if you want to have fun, throw some food coloring in and some glitter, some pom-poms. And this, again, they will sit, they will be so happy just to be able to be getting dirty, playing with things mm -hmm. that can get them dirty. Throw some ladybugs in, some glitter. You know, Literally, it could be just stuff that's kind of left over. I'm you know, you. This you know, is and the other the, the other thing about this too is, it's kind of relaxing. Yes, like you mentioned coloring earlier. I mean, we can oh all my sing gosh, color. If you haven't grabbed color crayons and a coloring book in a I long like time, do it because if you just put the phone down and do that, it, it's therapy. So. Okay. All right. So I know we're. Getting close on time here, but so these are two of my kids' favorite games. Uh, little Rai Rai likes matching, and I set it up for you guys if y'all want to play here in a second. Uh, Candyland, okay, that one's kind of dangerous because she'll want to play it 
again and again and again, but you know, okay, whatever keeps them busy. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, works. Um, and so games are great, and oh, I have my big old did you get it? jar of crafts that we just pulled. I love out. this. You the wanna... giant Perfect. art jar, which you know, you say you found at Costco, but I'm telling you, if you have any of that stuff just kind of left over in your home, yes. it comes with this book. And even if you just go through this book, it's got some really cute make, ideas make paper plate on what to look, make. Look, pipe cleaner jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, Did you find the, uh, you can use uh, <laughs> the little cups for um, oh, yes. cupcakes and the strings. I found it. Did you I find it? it? And found you can it. make Hang a on. jellyfish. Look at this. It's Hold on, wait. Coolest thing it's, in the world. So oh, we've there. got to find I got it. it. There I got it. it. I got it. There it is. All right. We and, love that one. And a cupcake last slime. Not least. <laughs> and Oh, yeah, I love that. Your favorite slime yeah. recipe. Yes, my favorite slime recipe. I think we have a photo of Juji. There she is. And she's <laughs> holding the recipe. But this one, well, here, you guys hold that. You see how it's already getting kind of, there's like a little, yeah. who knows what's in there. There's crud yeah. in there. So there we're going to make a new one. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. That's okay. That's Look at your hands. Yeah, <laughs> you're full of glitter. So we're going to make some new slime tonight, actually. So that's. Oh, fantastic. All, All right. right. All right. Of course. Fantastic ideas. Great stuff from Jen Tobias Dresky, our resident mama bear. All right, coming up, we want to keep you informed and prepared. And, oh, slime recipe. That's right. Yes. <laughs> we we got to make some of you may need that recipe for keep this you weekend. you informed and prepared about slime. Yes, here it is. <laughs> So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have you guys put on Yay! an apron so we, can, so we can get nice and dirty. Oh, of course. Um, and so we're just using three ingredients today. We're using Elmer's glue. Now, you can use clear or you could use the regular liquid white glue. Claire, who was our, uh, our friend from earlier. Yes, she's yeah. she one made of the models hers, tomorrow night. She made yes. hers using regular white glue. And so it just has like a little bit more of a milky texture than we have in our okay, galaxy is, glue here. That's the difference between the yep. two right there. Yep. Oh, okay. And so then gosh, the other so two weird. ingredients, the other two ingredients you need um, are baking soda, which mostly everybody has, especially if you like to have a deodorized <laughs> fridge. Just get some from that. <laughs> um, and then contact solution uh, or Give saline the solution. It's stuck on my hands. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> No, that's okay. We need slime help, slime help. Okay, so what I've done is I've I poured you guys... I did not think this through. <laughs> I've poured you guys oh, each wait, two oh, ounces of clear glue. He'll be back in a second. He'll, He'll be back. back. And go. I've also poured in one and a half teaspoons of the contact solution. And so all I'm going to have you guys do, and just like do as I do, mm -hmm. I'm just going to take one half of a teaspoon and pour it into your solution. Okay. And then? And then you're going to go ahead and pour your coloring in. So I gave Fiona red. Okay. How much, how much am I putting? Just like in? four, five, six, ten One, drops, two, whatever. Three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, And ten. so I'm using soap coloring just because I had it on hand and I like it because it doesn't really stain your hands. But you could totally use food coloring as well. Okay. So now after you've done, you've mixed that, you're just going to pour. Great color that. of blue. Wow. Yeah. That's and pretty. you're just going to pour that directly into your glue. You pour, pour this mm -hmm. into there. Mm -hmm. in there. Okay. Stir it around. Make sure, you, yeah, make sure you got those clumps out. And then mix this up. And then you can add, at this point, you can add googly eyes. You know, if you wanted to make like a green slime, you could add um, some, some glitter. You could add some sequins. I think Claire said she went and added some little styrofoam balls. And you're going to really stir it kind of vigorously. Vigorously yeah, stirring. Yeah, so don't be shy. You really want every piece of glue to touch every piece, every part of that little solution that you make. And, and this is something that all the chemists know what's going on here, but we just know that it's turning into it's slime. It's activating so. the, the glue. Don't ask me what that means. Okay. I am a crafter, not a scientist. Chemicals are reacting together. Yes, the like, chemicals are reacting. Whatever those chemicals it's are. It's creating yeah. some reaction of some sort. Okay, I'm getting something going on You're getting on here. something getting... going on. So you're gonna really Ooh, stir, yeah. really stir. Oh, I broke mine, it's all uh -oh. right. Got oh, another one. That have... is some serious vigorous stirring. Have... That's vigorous stirring. Oh, look at you! It's yeah. a lob. So it's still it's gonna a be a little it's bit. A lob. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit sticky, um, but if you want to, you can kind of just kind of, if once it gets all scooped out of there, oh. easily, yeah. Yeah, I easily kind of just like the... to dip it back into my little contact solution bowl. And at this point, you're actually just gonna knead it like how you would dough. Oh, it is so real I sticky. Like, yeah, yeah. So you're just gonna stick it back right into where, where do your I put contact it? solution, oh. your, your solution where? right oh, here. Oh, here, okay. And yeah. then you're gonna put it on the table and you're really gonna knead it, like, just like you would do some dough. Okay. Okay, I, I did some, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we're having glue disasters. Hold on. Yeah, you really need oh. to take, just take oh. it. Knead. Sticking everywhere. Knead, knead, knead. Knead it. Knead. Knead it. You're doing this. You're doing it. 
You're it's doing sticking it. to the paper. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. so much fun. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So once. This doesn't. I mean, it, this is kind of therapeutic. It's a little bit therapeutic, and so once you. Oh no. You, you, it's okay. It'll be okay. Here, look, look. You did it. Oh, you, you did, did it. it. You're just kind of keep kneading okay. it on your hands. Okay, thank you. No problem. You did I need it. You did such a great this. job. Okay. I'm so proud of you. How much, how much you give me if I get John's camera right there in the lens and just huh? throw it right in it? I hope Frank isn't watching. I know. <laughs> Ready? No, I'm not going to do it. It'll stick oh, to your foot. Oh, I was Should so I? excited no, for I you can't. to flirt with danger. Try it. it. Try it. Okay. No, but it, it, <laughs> See if you can do it. The it's safest really... place to be might be where you're aiming, Mike. <laughs> there we go. Come on. You're going to do it. Oh, oh, oh see, see, I knew it. It's stuck. I knew it's stuck. It's stuck. It. 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 stuck on the ground. Oh, no. no. You might okay. need a little bit more kneading here. <laughs> okay. All right. So what, you kind of just want to roll it in a ball. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. He's already playing with his. He's of out of well, control. Well, he's a boy. He's out of control. <laughs> okay. <of> John's camera. <laughs> okay. All right. Are we going to try again? Yeah. He's going to try it again. Right. Right, right uh -huh. at John. See how good your aim is. Uh-huh. Oh! Sorry, John. Hang on. This thing sticks. <laughs> he is. Oh, oh, it's on his shirt. Oh, oh, no. oh no. No. He's not oh, following no. directions. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Look at, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't like I said, you I really want to need it until it's together. You, this, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> This, all right, we got this. Okay. We, we did this for educational purposes. Yes, yes, this for is what you need not to do at home, Please folks. Please do not throw this at each other at home. It did wash out of John's shirt. He's wearing it right now. Coming up, we continue to keep you informed and prepared. The Salvation is Army here. The Salvation Army is here with the top things to have in your pantry this weekend. Plus, we're going to take another look at radar. And we're doing rain games. David is here with some experiments and crafts that all have to do with the rain. We'll be right back with more. After. A lot of look outside with City Cam, and as you can see, we do have plenty of clouds around here right now. In town, the rain has not started as of yet, mm -hmm. but we kind of have to qualify that just a little bit. Just a little bit, because, you know, the, the fun and games don't quite stop for SA Live today. No, no, no. Just you a know, little. a little bit of rain, you know, you're not going to melt if you're on the rain, are you? Right, David? That's right, you guys. We're actually out here. <laughs> I don't know what you guys see on that radar, but it's getting pretty wet out here. On the patio. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, though, we got some fun games where if you're stuck at home this weekend, which a lot of people are going to be, got some fun games. Uh, we'll be showing, you, <laughs> be showing you out. Look at that. You're going to have some fun with an umbrella, too. So when you're out at home, and if, even if you have kiddos, and it's getting, you know, everybody gets a little worried when it starts raining out here. So you want to have some crafts. Why? Well, I went ahead. You can get some washable paint and a canvas. You can create a little piece of art. And then when you let it rain on it, look at this. Watch this. It's just going to kind of splatter around. And then once you let it dry after it's done raining, we're going to, you can actually see it as it creates your own little rain. We're calling this rain art. Okay, so you can come out here. You can let your own art be created by Mother Nature. And, you know, this is really fun. We actually have a lot of different paint colors, but you just get some washable paint, whatever you want to do, and you just kind of slap it on your board there on your canvas. And we'll go to round. Even if it's raining outside, you can still have fun with it. There you go. And let that splash around. And that's a great way to have fun with the rain out here that's going to be coming this weekend. And another way you can have fun is there's a lot of watercrafts. They're like science kits. And you just add rain to them, or in this case, you have rain, but you just add water. And they create these little crafts. So you can see this one's like a growing coral kit. But all you got to do is you get your little coral and you drop it into the water. Now, you can let the rain water kind of create it. Oh, my coral. <laughs> no. Okay, there it goes. Okay. And it grows. It starts to grow. It starts doing its thing. And that's all because of the rain. Isn't that fantastic? And uh, John, I'm going to ask John. John's getting wet out here. We're going to have to have him step back a little bit. But now if you look out here, we have a, one last fun game that you guys can play during this hectic weekend of rain is you can put some glasses outside in your yard, and you can actually collect water in each glass. Now, you can put different food coloring. As we can see, we have green in each one. But you can put, like, red, yellow, and blue, and you can have a game as to whose glass gets filled up first. I love this game. It's really fun. You can put them in, in different places in the yard, and who knows? We can even, uh, you could be the winner, but you can have fun with it. Put your name on there. We'll have fun. But now, 
Mike and Fiona, which which game would you guys like to play the most out here? <laughs> watch watch the watch the host in the rain. There were people just walking by, kind of going like, "What is he doing out there?" It's it's I mean, raining. <laughs> it's, it was greatness. The crowd that kind of gathered watching David can't figure out why he's got a hose aimed at him with the giant umbrella. I but I gotta tell games. you, I love Let's that rain, rain art. Games. Yeah, that the rain, rain art. art. No, oh, yeah. it'd be really cool. That Let radar thing is fantastic. That I think is if you a... got like a really big canvas and you just... I know, I imagine mean, if you be... went big and you just, you just went for it. Isn't it amazing how quickly the rain stops as well? I know. Did it? Yeah. Oh, look imagine, at that. Imagine, Mike, if you had that kind of power. <laughs> that would be fantastic. This is amazing. Hey, I say you do your Gene Kelly out there. <laughs> Here we go, you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> as good as it gets. <laughs> oh, thanks, David. Thank you, David. And thank you, Gerardo, for making it rain out there for us, too. <laughs> Appreciate that. Of course. <laughs> All right. Coming up, we're saving you money on your next energy bill. Monica Taylor and I head to Home Depot and show you how. Monday. It's a way to go easy on your wallet while going easy on the environment. Monica Taylor from CPS joins me here at Home Depot to tell you about the rebate program. That's right. We've got a mow down rebate program at CPS Energy. So what we've been talking about is right now school's in session. Parents have been spending a lot of money on their kids. But now it's time for mom and dad to get a rebate on their electric lawn equipment. So and saving money is always great, especially after, as you said, all those back to school expenses. Exactly. So you can actually get up to a six dollar bill credit by getting some of your electric lawn equipment. So get rid of all your gas powered equipment and start looking at the electric options. And CPS Energy has an easy way of doing it. You can go online, cpsenergy.com. They have a great way of finding out how much you can save on each one. So we've got trimmers, blowers, edgers, even um, corded mowers, battery powered or push reel if you really want to work out. <laughs> and on a push reel, you can actually save up to $60. So that's their $60 bill credit right there. And then if you get like a trim a blower and edger that's like $15 and and then a corded mower you can save up to $30 but we talk about it all the time I don't think people realize that when you use when you actually take a mower mm -hmm. and do one hour of gas powered mowing it equals four hours of driving your car worth of pollution in the air for oh, us. Wow. so this is a great way to change all of that okay so does it matter where you buy it or what brand it is actually that's the best part no it doesn't it doesn't matter what store you buy it in or or actually the brand that you buy as long as it's an electric lawn equipment and you actually look at cpsenergy.com it'll give you the list of the ones that it, it works and you bought it between March 1st and August 31st okay. so you want to keep your receipt because you're going to need that for the rebate and also know that your envelope needs to be filled out along with your actual um, CPS Energy application that we've got right online right at cpsenergy.com it has to be postmarked by August 31st so you've got another week mm -hmm. to be able to go out and get this so that's going to be really great for um, anybody to save up to $60 and get a bill credit on their CPS Energy bill. Okay, so if you were to come in, could you buy, say, several of those things and hope to get a lot back with the rebate? Well, you can get up to a $60 bill credit. So what that means is it's only one item. Okay. It's one per household per year. So I know a lot of people are thinking, I'm going to go buy a ton of stuff, but actually it's one, per, uh, one household per year. And the reason for that is we want to give the opportunity to all CPS Energy customers to get this rebate. All right, because every little bit helps and every little bit adds up. All That's right, right, where can folks go? Okay, cpsenergy.com. You can actually download the, um, the information right there. You can actually get this qualifying um, product. Remember, it has to be postmarked by August 31st, but you could have bought your product between March 1st and August 31st. So if you still have your receipt on things you bought a couple of months ago, it'll still work out. Bring it in. Yeah. All right. All right, so to take advantage of CPS Energy's Mow Down Smart, rebate just head to cpsenergy.com and follow the simple steps to sign up for it for Live look outside with city cam no rain yet but i was just checking radar and don't forget to download all the weather apps and everything and here's a look at radar right now and as you can see rain is uh, moving in through wilson county as far as san antonio is concerned and uh, the storm is about 85 miles to the southeast of corpus christi and it's moving northwest at about 10 miles per hour 
All right, but we want to make sure you're prepared this weekend. Right, and um, Salvation Army is one of the best places to get prepared and know how to be prepared. And Bradley Mayhar, Salvation Army Public Relations Manager, he's for me to say is here. And this is how to be prepared in your pantry. Right. Uh, we're all anticipating flooding in San Antonio this weekend. We expect at some point lots of us may be without power. So it's like you want to have that survival kit in your pantry. If I have to go one, maybe day and a half, two days without the ability to prepare heated meals. I was what I say, do. That, that's the whole key because if right. you lose power mm -hmm. and a lot of people have electric stoves, mm -hmm. it's not going to be right. a warm meal. But even a can of beans right. like this, Definitely. you can just eat them out of yeah. there. It may not yeah. be the tastiest yeah. thing in the world. But so yeah. these are around the top 10 things, right, that, yes. that you want. In no in particular your order. Right. Exactly. Okay. exactly. And make sure that you have a handheld can opener just in case. Of course. <laughs> okay. So the handheld can opener for, and, yeah. of course, the canned goods that mm -hmm. may not necessarily need to be heated to mm -hmm. eat. And then we've got pretty much standard water. bottled water. Water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Water. There's shortages in some places. So make sure you're good. Juices, things that, you know, unlike milk obviously won't spoil mm -hmm. uh peanut butter uh that's something that you can make sandwiches and stuff if you're not allergic or and anything. very uh high in protein so yes. that's a, that's a good thing to eat to get a lot of a good exactly. protein. and don't forget fresh fruit too because fresh it doesn't fruit. have to be refrigerated you can buy a couple of bags mm -hmm. of, of apples and oranges if to be prepared a couple of days out and you're going to have this for you know a week or so depending right. on how many people yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitely fruit. And uh, snacks that we also recommend snacks that are like low in salt. So, especially you know, if you want to watch yeah. your water intake, yeah, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> you, know, you might not want that can of Pringles, you know, mm -hmm. but low salt stuff would be and, and plus, these, again, are it's not those empty calories. It's a good, right. you know, good protein. It's healthy. Okay. Okay. And then, you, of course, you need your flashlight, flashlight batteries, the batteries yeah. extra cell phone batteries mm -hmm. and chargers, and prescription Pres medication. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you can at least get by through the duration of the power outage if you're on any prescriptions. And then, of course, the flashlights to find those items in your pantry if the light goes out. All right. A lot of folks, especially east of here, are really going to be affected. Mm -hmm. How can, if you want to help out, what's the best way to help out with the Salvation uh, Army? Yeah, they can, uh, they can volunteer or they can help out financially. Uh, people ask all the time, how, what can I donate? Financial is the best way to go because the needs change every day when we're scheduled to be out in the field. And, uh, and we can put that money directly to the efforts. And it's just a uh, help. SalvationArmy.org has that information. And so if I want to donate to Harvey, it's going to Hurricane Harvey and nowhere exactly. else. It goes okay. directly to the relief okay. efforts. And of course, if the power goes out, a weather radio would also be good to have. That, handy, that would right? be handy too. Exactly. Okay. Brand, thank you very much. Always thank fantastic you. information. And for more information on the Salvation Army, just head over to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And there's a link to the Salvation Army website. We will be back. We've been in business since 1983, and so we service everything that we sell. And so we're not just here to get you to buy a hot tub today, but today, tomorrow, next year. I mean, we're even selling to kids, grandkids, you know, people that have had a hot tub for a very long time. Folks might be seeing a lot of the traveling shows and what they're offering. Well, here's the difference. It's a company that comes in from out of town. Uh, they make the local people think there's a whole bunch of different local companies under one roof where they can get the best deal, but it's actually one company and that's it. Whereas we offer different manufacturers, not just one, for a great selection for our customers. And of course, service is the backbone of our company because that's what we started out as. Uh, also, there's a difference in the quality of the structure. Uh, many of our products have a steel frame versus a wood. Uh, uh, the traveling shows use wood uh, for their structure, uh, which can rot out. Uh, and also, they use yellow foam, which uh, is very attractive to mice and rats. Hot tubs. 
They aren't just for relaxing. They have so many other uses as well that are beneficial. Absolutely. In fact, our, the Arthritis Foundation recommends 30 minutes a day in a hot tub, and doctors, the state of Texas, will actually allow a sales tax exemption. So it's a great benefit to your health as well. So there's two types of wellness. There's active wellness and passive wellness. Uh, the active wellness category, we have the Endless Pools Aquatic Fitness System. They are the inventor in the industry, the innovator of countercurrent swimming. Uh, that is what you would consider active wellness. Passive wellness is the hot tubs. Hot tubs, what happens when you get in there, it increases your blood circulation. In, uh, for instance, like if you drink a glass of orange juice or lemon juice before you go into a hot tub, uh, it dilates your vessels and then the vitamin C gets to a lot of cells in your body. You don't normally get nutrition. So that's a very great way for active wellness to get nourishment to all the cells in your body. And the amazing thing about the fitness systems is just a 10 minute a day workout is really all you need. Uh, a lot of people do a lot of running, they'll run miles to get the same type of uh, fitness, but it works every part of your body. But here you can have it in your home uh, versus an in-ground swimming pool. You can keep the temperature 24 hours a day. It's covered, it keeps the dirt and the sunlight and the leaves and the algae out. It's easy to maintain. Budget-wise, you don't have, it's not subject to property tax, which saves you anywhere from six to $10,000 over years of owning your home. Uh, and, and if you move, you can always take it with you. And what I love is that you can try before you buy. And we really do encourage that because, you know, we want you to try it out. And we actually help fit you into a hot tub. This is the weekend. Everybody's going to be out shopping for some of these babies. This weekend only we're having a tent sale at all our locations and we've got actually a special hot tub only for this sale the manufacturers made for us. We get a whole truckload and once they're gone, they're gone. It's just a one-time special price. It's totally loaded. It's awesome. So I encourage you to come down as soon as you can. And the key word is Sweetwater. Sweetwater Hot Tubs has three locations in town. Just call 561-8829. That's 561-8829 or head to SweetwaterHotTubs.com for more information. It's a high-flying adventure just minutes from downtown San Antonio. We are here at Holotus Hill Country Zip Lines to see what all the excitement is about. And joining me right now is Rodney Madla, course manager. And we've gotten suited up. You put me on, like, the bunny hill, the right, bunny to kind hill. of practice. We've ground gone through school. ground school. Correct. Okay. So what are we going to do today? How high are we going to go? How fast are we going to go? Okay, so we got a total of 10 lines, including our ground school line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ride nine additional lines. Mm -hmm. We're going to get up to about 100 feet, and we're going to get up to about 40 miles an hour today. 40 miles an hour? 40 How miles fast an hour. was I going on this little one? Oh, uh, probably about five. That was amazing! Oh, five. Okay, so 35 miles faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. yeah, that's moving at a pretty good clip. Pretty it's the only zip line park in San Antonio, right? Only zip line in San Antonio, yes. How old do you have to be to participate? Well, we've had a rider in as young as three years old, and we've had one that is 80 years old. Now, the riders under the age of 11 will ride tandem with a guide so that they are taking care of all their needs. So what about for the folks that might be a little nervous, that might be a little afraid of heights? Well, again, all my staff is mm -hmm. trained to really work with every individual to help them get through that experience of fear. Again, we kind of tell them everybody's not really afraid of heights or afraid of falling, but all of our gear is new Petzl gear. It's awesome stuff. Um, we check it before we put it on you and then we pre-run the course every day to make sure that everything is in working order. So safety precautions are number one. Number one. All right, I'm excited. Let's, Let's zip go. along. Let's go. <laughs> When you uh -huh. cross the canyon, though, you're going to be about maybe 50, okay. and then we're going to get to about 100. Okay. Okay, you ready, Fiona? Am I? Am I ready? Yes. <laughs> ready? Go ahead and step on down. I'll have you right here. Seat your harness. Both feet in front of you. Tell me when you're ready to go. Ready. Okay, now.
right. For more information on Holoda's Hill Country <laughs> zip lines, just call 695-8783. That's 695-8783. Or head to Holoda's Hill Country ziplines.com. And of course, a big thank you to Ansira Witten Chevrolet for getting us there. Right. And because of Hurricane Harvey, we're going to take a break right now. And then the news is going to finish up the rest of the hour. So we are going to bid you a farewell. Stay dry this weekend. We'll keep you updated, obviously. And we will see you back here Monday at one o'clock.